everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Kenneth and today is an important day in France because some of the restrictions regarding the pandemic have been eased. First of all, um, outdoor cafes are now open for business, museums have been reopened, and the curfew has been moved up to 9 p.m. So regarding museums, what I want to do today is take you for the first time in several months over to a great museum here in the 6th arrondissement via Saint-Germain-des-Prés and that is the Musée Eugène Delacroix. Let's go take a look at some works by one of France's greatest masters. Right, so it's a pretty typical spring day in Paris in that the sun has been shining for about five minutes and then the clouds come out, you don't know if it's going to rain or not. But anyway, I've got an umbrella with me and I'm only about three or four minutes away from the museum itself. So let's keep walking around saint germain de prés All right, everybody, so what's special about uh, this exhibition at the Musée Eugène de la Croix is that it is a celebration of Le Giro, or the infidel. Originally, this is a work of poetry created by the English poet Lord Byron in celebration of one of the heroes of the Greek struggle for independence from Ottoman rule. And apparently, Delacroix was so inspired by the poetic works of Lord Byron that he decided to pay visual homage to this great man in the series of paintings that we're going to see today. So we're going to focus on some of the representations of Eugène Or, and also we're going to take a look at some of the other works of Delacroix, as well as those of his contemporaries, both in celebration of Eugène Or and on other themes as well. Of course, Delacroix was not the only artist to be moved by the story of the Gia Eau. What we're going to do is move into the next room and take a look at some of the artists who are also inspired by the story.
So even though I love the gardens and the sunlight, what I want to do is go inside right now and take a look at the Atelier de Delacroix, see some of the great works as well as those of his contemporaries. All right, so that was time and money very well spent. As for money, it was only seven euros to tour this little museum. As I said, it's a short walk from the Latin Quarter. Uh, you can pass by uh, the great church, Saint Germain de Prés. You can also pass by the great cafes like Brasserie Lip and Café de Fleur and Les Du Magot. It's a wonderful area full of life, and now that restrictions are easing on travel, I hope that you can come to Paris and see for yourself what I've experienced today. Thank you once again for joining me.